Hello friends, welcome to my next video tutorial of multi store digital structure analysis and design using Instagram Pro program version V8i. In this particular video tutorial series, I'm going to show you how to design various member and also checking deflection and lateral shape in Instagram Pro. So to start design, you have to complete analysis first, then go to here modeling, click here, then click here design, and from here in the right side you can see current code which is AIC 360-05 I have to change this to AIC SD if you have any other code from here you have to change select from here and after selecting this code go to here define parameter from here you have to first define the FYLD which is the yield strength of the steel and I have this is 50 grade so 3 4 5 1 2 3 0 kilo newton per meter square click here add and then go to bottom and from find here unsupported length of UNT unsupported length of top planes to for calculating bending moment and I have this is for my sub beam I will use shear start at a spacing of 600 so this should be 0 0.6 so unsupported length for my sub beam is 0.6 then add and there is no other uh, parameter here then click here close and if you have any other value say unt and unb you have to define uh, from here and I'm, i have just only one close now go to here you can see this one so fyld will be for all this member and if you have different strength say for bracing and for column or for beam then you have to define here different value then you have to assign them individually on them and i have similar strength so i am selecting this one from here click assign to view assign yes so this strength has been assigned for all the member available on this model now click this one and i have to assign this for my sub beam to do i have to go to here select then by specification property name i have this seven so select this seven then close and now assign to selected beams assign yes now go to here command then first one check code add and also you can say uh, check it take up so what is the weight of all the is still available in this model then click here take up add close now go bottom right here check this code select this one assign to view assign yes and this one also assign to view assign yes done now go to here analyze and run analysis again save okay when it is completed check this third one go to post processing mode down and from here click here this beam from this left side list beam then unity check now you can see the unity is showing here but i cannot see go to here any top view select say any this way new view okay here now you can see clearly what is going on so the value should be less than one and approximately one so not too much less than one and not greater than one so i have some value this is less than one but this is greater than one and this value is also greater than one so now i have to change the member size from here to change member size say i have to change all this column size and this beam is almost done i have 1.06 just i can accept this but i can also increase the size partially for this one and now you have to change the member size to pass all them of them to do that you have to go to your modeling general then here check this column i have to change the size of this column say i want this is change this to 300 and i can change this to 16 mm and this is 12 mm then change yes close so if you have any other member not passing then you have to change from here i'm just uh, showing you the procedure you can change this way so i'm going to analyze again run analysis save go to post processing mode done okay beam unit check now you can see this is almost one but this one is greater than one 1.38 so i have to change this member size too so by going back and forth you have to give some try to uh, make the size workable or uh, fitable and 
going to have this and i can also check in the other direction so you have to check that for various direction and on each frame so new okay here i have here bracing now check if the bracing is working post processing beam unity check so the bracing is not working and also this beam you can see in this direction and also this column so you have to do by uh, one by one frame or if you can check in whole model if your model is not too big you can check or also by selecting only column you can check first then you can uh, check any floor beam then it will be okay so this is the procedure of checking everything i have to change the size of the bracing too so you can change the size i i think and after finalizing the size go to your modeling then this icon deflection and from here you can check deflection going to here post processing result view value so beam result if you want to check here maximum uh, displacement then maximum result and annotated close check this one now you can see the value and as per the combination selected here you select this one it will changing so if you want to check lateral so you have to just select combination with lateral now you can check here or only selecting column just go to select beam parallel to y right click new view okay now you can check here the lateral sway by as per various combination available here and also for beam so you have to check this one after you have finalized your member size and if any size is not finalized and if you check this it will vary when it is it has been finalized so after finalizing you have to check this lateral sway or deflection so i hope you have understood all the design procedure and following this procedure you can design any kind of complex and small or large type of stellar structure and i hope you have enjoyed this video if you have any comments just comment below and i will try to my answer best and hope to see you in any next video tutorial series so thanks for watching